So this is the USA Top Reader's Choice winning ceremony. And of course, Faraday's Beach, we are first. We are first. Congratulations once again, man. Big up the winning team, Carico. Big up Grenada Tourism Authority, we are here. So, it's the USA Reader's Choice, top 10 BGs on Carico, Paradise Beach, of course. We come in first place right here in this competition. Yeah, man. Oh, from three, we're gonna pop some champagne too. All right, three, two, one, hip, hip, hip. Oh, yes, of course. Congratulations, Paradise Beach Caracol, Pity Marnik, Grenada, in this right now. So those of you who's viewing online, if you're wondering what's happening, this is the USA Top 10 Reader's Choice Ceremony. And Paradise Beach Caracol just placed first. In the competition, out of 10 beaches that was in the competition, Karaoke, Paradise Beach, we came first, all right? That's why we are celebrating so much right now. In a short while, we got a ceremony, so don't go nowhere. Have a time, all right? We're here, DJ Jack, I'm going to I'm going to take you up, all right? Best country, one of the best flags in the world, best looking, best bitches. We represent. This is Mr. Poland, and you're listening to Jack Almighty. Wow. Of course, that's a celebration right now, man. Toast to all the hard work. I gotta say thank you to all those who vote to make this possible, of course. You take your time off, you go to click that link to make paradise. The bitch to win this competition right now. And of course, we are presently at Paradise Beach. So if a cameraman could give you a nice look around so you could see why we vote so we can come first in this competition right now. Yes. So is the USA Reader's Choice? Yes, competition. Out of 10 Beach, Paradise Beach. We are here and we are on the top. We came first in this year's competition, all right? So if you all want to book a destination, you come right here to the lovely island of Caracol, the part of the trial and state, Grenada, Caracol, and Pity Monic, Paradise Beach. We came first in the tournaments, yes? Of course. Yeah. Of course, man, full 7 3, Grenada Caracol, Pity Monic, that's the area code. We are doing it big. When it comes up. Let's go. And we are waving our flag very high and very proud today, you know what I mean? Because this is a tournament that many beaches was part of. But to show that this tiny island can come out victorious on top. Come on, man. Cheers to Paradise Beach Carry Go. So 
For those of you viewing online, what is Facebook, why is uh, YouTube? Stay on, we got the ceremony in a short while to make this all better, all right? We turn the vibes up. That's it right here, man. Just joining in on the live. Uh, Welcome. Just fine. If you're wondering what's happening, <laughs> we are celebrating. John. On why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we are part of the yeah. USA Top 10 Reader's Choice yeah. Ceremony, yeah. alright? Yeah. A competition, actually. Yeah. And yeah. out of the 10 beaches in the competition, yeah. they voted Paradise Beach yeah. of one of the best beaches in the Caribbean, alright? Yeah. And we came first. Yeah. Of course, of course. In a short while, we got a ceremony, guys, so don't go. Don't go, stay on the view, stay on the lives. You can share this, man, share the love, make sure everybody know what's happening right now. So Paradise Beach was voted the best beach in the Caribbean, of course. And we are right here, actually, on Paradise Beach right now, doing the celebration, doing the ceremony, all right? Right now, we on the road and we brave, brave, tell them we don't afraid, afraid, them no say we brave. We on the road and we brave, brave, tell them we don't afraid, afraid, them no say we brave. As long as the liquor flow with me, gas and wine, and just play with music and we gon' deal with it. We gon' deal with it. Cause we run the world, we run the dance, we run the globe, we set the speed limit. Yes, we deal with it. Under the influence, we know so bad. Show green and as a fet and we did. Yes, we did. Under the influence, that is so good. Show we woman and come, we don't fret. We don't fret. Green and people, we fret, fret, fret. Tell them we don't fret, fret, fret. We don't fret. My people, we that, that, that's a little display of the Shakespeare mass, something unique to us right here on the island of Caraco and Pidemonic, all right? Just a little demonstration right there. You probably mightn't hear exactly what he's saying, but come out Tuesday right here on the island. You will get that if you're in the island too, or you could just stream in live, all right? Shakespeare, something unique to us. Mr. Bullen, and you're listening to Jack Almighty. Let me tell you what I'm going on. Mr. Grenadian bad boy. 
So in just two minutes time, we're going to start the ceremony, all right? Two minutes, we're going to start the ceremony. Them gold is tell us we small, but we put it in proper, proper. We turn over any event and any session and we only suffer from insomnia. Yeah. Under the influence, you know, so bad. Show green and as a friend that we did. Check two. Good afternoon, good morning, good hello to everybody here on Paradise Beach Township. Pick up the guy, Zach. Keep your magic in the background, of course. We'd like to welcome everybody on the live. Welcome everybody on Paradise Beach as usual. Wow. It's a pleasure to have you guys. For this marvelous occasion that Paradise Beach is the best beach in the Caribbean. For now, next month, we're going to the world. We're taking it to the world, yeah? And it's a pleasure, it's an honor to witness this and to welcome this, you know, this, what's going to express how we are feeling in Caribbean to what demand it right now, yeah? But I'm not the one responsible to talking. I've got two, two lovely people from the community of Paradise Beach, Leicester, by extension. Yeah, Mr. Cosmos Bristol and Miss Marilyn Samson. Mr. Cosmos Bristol, a son of the soil, is a Paradise Beach man. He hails from Leicester, and we're on Leicester. And folks, in case you're wondering where Paradise Beach is, Leicester carry you too. And they will be your master and mistress of ceremony. So we welcome them to the microphone, but just a little bio, Mr. Bristol been the first teacher from Leicester to teach at Hillsborough Junior Secondary School. He was the first in Kaliyaku, yeah, to teach at secondary level, and he had done that for about 95 years. He will start asking his age now, yeah. And then Miss Marilyn Summerson, a well-known big drum quadrille and artist. She is the first lady to win the road match in Kaliyaku. So we have the first of the first of us of every first year today. Friday, of course. So we have the first of the first. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Mr. Cosmos Bristol and Miss Marilyn Samson. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Neil. Thank you, everyone. Welcome, everyone. This is an important and an historic event for us. Karaku, our paradise beach here, is rated beach number one in the Caribbean in 2022. What a treat for us. Give it all up to us. Okay, um, it is going to be a moment yet before the official exercise gets underway. So we're inviting the DJ people to give us a little bit of music until we get started. Thank you very kindly. Let's go, Mr. DJ. Let's go. Pump it up. Pump it up.
Thank you very kindly, Mr. DJ. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we must begin this official part of the program. To commence, I invite Lady Samo for prayers. So let's just be reverent for a moment. Thank you. All right. In everything we do, we got to put God first. So just bow your head as we give thanks and praise. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for waking us up this morning, Lord God. Thank you for your many blessings. Thank you for all that you have done and all that you continue to do for us, God. We want to thank all those who voted for this Paradise Beach. We're the winner, and we want to say thank you to everyone who voted. So God, continue to bless us with good health and strength, and let us enjoy this moment and have a wonderful day. We ask this prayer in your holy, precious name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lady Sambo. Chief Executive Officer, Mrs. Uh, Miss Petra Roach of the Grenada Tourism Authority, other members of the GTA, members of the Karaoke branch of the Grenada Tourism Authority, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, on behalf of the Grenada Tourism Authority, I welcome you to this exciting moment as we celebrate the winning of the best 10 Reader's Choice Award. Paradise Beach, Beach has been awarded position number one. Give it up all to, Car to Karaku and Pity Matnik and Grenada. Thank you very kindly. As part of this rich moment, we'll do what we must do. What other people don't do, we are going to wet the ground. So this is a ceremonial thing. It is part of our culture. Ladies and gentlemen, be entertained as we wet the ground. Neil and the band, please. And of course, we have a representative of the Grenada Tourism Authority. We have Neil Madison and another Madison and another lady there. <laughs> and they are all, we, all going to be wet in the ground. I must throw water to you now. <laughs> oh my. Um, no, no, you go on. <laughs> go on, you go on. Well, I think I better get my glass too. Everybody should have a glass for this. And um, I know there's champagne passing around, but there's Caracol's finest here. If you need some, Miss Roach got it in her hand. Yeah. All right. In true Caracol spirit, Peter Martinick, we say, now somebody's running. Come, come. Yeah, the more the merrier. And next time, smoke your own Phoenix. And next time, Miss Roach, you, let's just pour our own drink, yeah? Yeah, next thing she gonna call your name and say it's you that make key have have more than enough. Okay. So, is it still spirit water first? We say water first, peace and love, health and strength. And uh, carry Ku and Pity Martinik has just went up forty notches on the walls stage. And there's more to come. We say peace and love, health and strength. And togetherness. Hip 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 hip. Hip, hip, hip. Hooray. Hip, hip, hip. Hooray. There we go. Right. So we have had this ceremonial wetting of the ground. And that we couldn't do anything before we wet the ground. This is our tradition. Don't get mad with us now, please. Um, we are going to have... Uh, some remarks from the Grenada Tourism Authority. We're going to have some uh, entertainment, and then we will have some more entertainment. I'll take, I'll take. So okay. first of all, uh, okay. 
the first person who's going to come up to give a remark, we're going to call on a known man, I mean, in the island of Kariaku. And that's no other person than Mr. Leo Joseph. Give it up for Mr. Leo Joseph. Mr. Joseph represents the tourism uh, business here on island. Uh, he owns uh, Mommed Hotel, Mr. Joseph. Thank you very much. Thanks for the opportunity to be here. Enjoying the moment for Paradise Beach. I must let you know that not only Paradise Beach should be celebrated, but La Cauzi, <laughs> <laughs> the Hope, <laughs> and all these good neighboring communities. <laughs> because for those of you, you know, a man of many places, you know, and I was once living just a few blocks away. And I know to enable us to get this beautiful paradise beach, we had to sacrifice all the good sorrel, almond, and the grapes that grew here. <laughs> Nonetheless, it was well worth it. Because today, we're celebrating that, is that coveted title of best beach in the Caribbean. Hear me here. Amen. <laughs> As a Caracon, first and foremost, I want to congratulate the folks who are resident here on the beach and who did all that is possible, not only to enable us to enjoy the beautiful waters around here, but to keep the beach in a, a, a way that is attractive to visitors. So all the good uh, business persons around here, I also want to congratulate you for doing your own to make Paradise Beach what it is. I know we have much more on Karaku has so much more to offer. And I'm hoping that this is not the last that we can showcase and grow from. So again, Karakuans, it's our place and it's our opportunity to be proud and we could be prouder yet as long as we stay together and do what is necessary to make Paradise Beach and the rest of Karaku the best it could be. Thank you. Thank you very kindly, Mr. Joseph. There are some islands down in the south you don't know nothing about. That's my Grenada, Kariaku, and Pity Martinique, three islands so unique. Three different islands, three different parts interested to explore. So I urge you, don't stay too long. Come and see where we all belong. Just come and see for yourself. Come behold what we sell. What a country until. Not just beautiful beach or a culture that's rich. You'll enjoy your friendship. Come and see for yourselves. Come behold what we sell. What a country until. Not just beautiful beach or a culture that's rich. You'll enjoy your friendship. Our blue skies and sunny weather. No freezing temperature. And the island, Jaka Dam and White Island. And the falls, green mountains. Rivers and lakes for romantic picnics. Our local boatmen, minutes will take you there. Just come and see for yourself. Come behold what we sell. What the country until I hurt you as I accustomed to. Come and see. And we speak about beautiful beaches. Now look, Paradise Beach has them call as the best beach in the Caribbean. We're going for the world title next. Not just beautiful beach, or a culture that's rich, you'll enjoy your friendship. Come and see for yourselves, come behold what we sell, what a country until. Not just beautiful beach, or a culture that's rich, you'll enjoy your friendship.
Paradise Beach to the world. <laughs> thank, thank you, you very kindly. Come on, people, give it up for the cultural trade. Let's hear you one more time. Let's go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. And now we call to the microphone Miss Petra Roach, the Chief Executive Officer of the Grenada Tourism Authority. <laughs> Miss Roach. And what a wonderful afternoon it is, and what a wonderful celebration. And the sense of community is so palpable. And I really want to give a big shout out to our Karaku team, Rina and Damali and Shadek, who have really embraced the competition. And I think we always start from the premise that you have to be considered to win. And they took this and they ran with it. And we're really privileged this evening to also welcome our permanent secretary in the Ministry of Tourism, P.S. Desiree Stephen, and then one of our board of directors who actually lives here in Karakou and is a tourism practitioner with Bogle's Roundhouse, Director Fabian Rock. So welcome. So um, this is such a big moment for us that we sort of brought half the office with us to celebrate because I think that we really, in the midst of a pandemic and all the challenges that we've had, we really need to give thanks to God for giving us this wonderful accolade um, to start the year so I just wanted to give some context in terms of what the USA Top 10 Best Readers Award is. And ultimately, USA Today is a multi-platform news and information media company. And they have a combined 7 million readers daily. And USA Today is a leader in mobile applications with more than 21 million downloads on mobile devices. So just think about the number of eyes who have seen this wonderful, wonderful celebration today. And then if we also um, look at the um, other competitions, we actually also had Granant's Beach coming in in third place for um, the top beaches. And we also can celebrate today that um, within the best Caribbean attraction, Belmont Estate came third. Within the best Caribbean beach bar, Esther's Bar on Grand Beach came fourth. Within the best Caribbean resort, True Blue Bay Boutique came number eight. And then within the best Caribbean rum distillery, Clark's Court Rum came number five. So it's not just celebration here in Karakou, but throughout Grenada. And I really want to express that the people who come to the Caribbean, their primary reason for visiting are the beautiful beaches. So can you imagine that as part of our narrative? But we need to step one step further back because these beaches are for the local people first and foremost. And we have to continue to commit to keeping them clean, to ensuring that we keep the ecosystem, which is extremely fragile, that we keep protecting it so that we can continue to have those beautiful corals and that beautiful marine life. And that will only come if each and every one of us commits to ensuring that we will keep and protect this very, very fragile ecosystem. So thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate the fact that Karakou really comes together as a community and that is integral to who we are as a tourism product. And without further ado, I'm putting my director on the spot because I'd really appreciate if director Fabian Rock could come and also say a few words. Thank you very kindly, Miss uh, Roach. And so, 
the gentleman comes to the microphone. Um, first and foremost, I want to say thank you for everybody that voted for, for Paradise Beach and congratulations to Karaku on a whole. It's not just Paradise Beach that won, but Karaku. And going forward, I would like to see everybody coming together and appreciating what we have a bit more than Yeah. Yeah. And we have to give thanks for sure. I just hope that we understand what that means to us. It's not just winning an award. The impact that it's gonna have on the island right now, I wish that we were prepared for it. And thank you for coming out. Thank you guys for coming all the way from Grenada to celebrate it with us. Have a good day, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very kindly, sir. Thank you, Ms. Roach, again. All right. Next, we're going to invite uh, the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Tourism to come and give, give us a few words. Um, welcome, Ms. Desiree Stevens. A pleasant good afternoon, and I bring greetings from the Ministry of Tourism, Civil Aviation, Climate Resilience, and the Environment. And it wasn't planned for me to be here, partaking in this ceremony this afternoon. It just coincided with my visit to Kariku, a place that I call my second home. And when asked to participate, I only thought it fitting that I do on behalf of my ministry. Kariku has always been near and dear to my heart, and persons like Rena would know that any opportunity I get to visit, I do. <laughs> so having this prestigious award bestowed on Kariku, I feel a sense of pride, and I'm happy to celebrate with the people of Kariku and Piti Martini. I know, as Director Rock would have indicated, I think we need to now prepare ourselves for the impact of such an award. We know now that persons all over would be visiting Kariku to see what it is we have to offer here. They would like to get a piece of, Karik, of Paradise Beach. And I want to congratulate the villagers and the people of Kariku for what you have done to this beach, what you continue to do to ensure that it remains one of the top beaches, not only in Kariku, but throughout Grenada, the state of Grenada. So congratulations, and I think we now start to prepare for the influx of visitors who will be visit visiting us to enjoy this lovely Paradise Beach. So thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Stevens. And um, from my perspective, I just wish to echo that what I have seen is that Grenada is marketed out there as the tourist destination. The m officers and members of the Grenada Tourism Board, um, Tourism Authority, um, from here you would see that Karaku has a fair share of that destination. And so for all those people out there, we have a business here for you. It is free. You do not have to pay a dollar like most people do to enjoy our beach. Paradise Beach is open to all. And that's one of the things as a people we can hold a great appreciation for. In many other places, people cannot boast like us. Our Paradise Beach is open to all. And that, I think, makes us unique. And that probably was the difference. But it was not just that. It is also that this remains one of the most natural environment around us. So let us enjoy it as locals. And when our, our invitees, our guests, our visitors come, help them to enjoy it better. One of the things about Kyoku is that is our Sarakan, where our tombstone feast and them thing. Please visit us. When you come, come being ensured that you're going to get a slice of our foods and culture and all the other things that go with it. Yes, we have a friendly people, 
But you know, people are good and bad everywhere. <laughs> so that part of the challenge, be ready for. Having said all that, I just wish to thank the school children that we have some boys and girls from school. Boys and girls, Paradise Beach should be here 20 years beyond here. And I trust that if you are here, you too will continue to enjoy it. So the challenge is ours to make Paradise Beach the kind of beach that tourists, visitors, Grenadians will come and they too should enjoy it. On behalf of everybody, I just wish to say this has been a very, very exciting moment. Thank you. Miss? Okay, and I know we have a lot of viewers all over the world. We want to ask them to please share the live, share the live. And as we're coming to the end of this uh, little ceremony, we would like to call on no other than the representative for tourism in Karyaku. Like everybody know her, well known, Miss Rena Mills. Please give it up for Miss Rena Mills. Thank you. Whoop. You shot me. <laughs> All right. Let's. Okay. All right. I don't know how should I say thank you or how do I say thank you. It is such an exciting day. Paradise Beach, our own Paradise Beach. We are in the spotlight, right? Yeah. I think I want the band to walk with me. <laughs> when we are in the spotlight, right? Of course we are. Right. So. I remember yesterday while organizing, someone said, you know it's gonna rain out tomorrow, please God. I'm like, not in Caracol. Any rainfall is because that's blessing. <laughs> right. So today, a big hearty thank you. Thank you to the hardworking team of the Grenada Tourism Authority, our CEO, Ms. Petra Roach, and all those who traveled up for this occasion. Special thank you to y'all. And I know that we have plenty more work to do. I remember in sending out the link and asking persons to vote. When I sent it to them, expecting them to vote for Paradise, for Grand Dance, they voted Paradise. Give yourselves a round of applause. And this is not just Caracol, this is Grenada, Caracol, and Pichimatnik by extension. To P.S. Stevens, yeah, honorary kayak. You're our very own. Thank you very much for being here. I know that you came on your personal business. You not Miss Rutt. Oh, P.S. Stevens, I said. Of course, yes, she is. <laughs> All right, P.S. Stevens, thank you very much for being here, as usual. We're going to have a great weekend, right? Lovely. Thank you very much to um, the students who are here today. We know, that, we know that this means a lot to you, the students and the teacher of the Leicester Rosary School, even though it was last minute. Thank you very much for being here. We know what that means for Grenada, Karakou, and Pichimatnik. To our stakeholders, Mr. Joseph, Linky, who are representing the various uh, sections in the tourism and industry, and others. Pa Michelle, Mr. Sylvester, MPA, good afternoon and welcome. Thank you very much for coming to all our stakeholders. To Culture Train String Band Group, you are not performed as yet, but besides playing today, I want to say a great thank you to y'all. I remember when they came from Grenada for independence and I reached out to them. Well, now y'all are in the spotlight because everybody commending y'all for the great job y'all did in Grenada. So now I want y'all to use that spotlight and have people vote for Paradise Beach. I say, let's go over the Saturday and let's get it done. We're going to pin the link. We're going to ask people to vote. And after that, no turning back. So said, so done. Congrats. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. And to everyone else who voted for this, I don't know how to say thank you. A big hearty thank you. Thank you to everyone, everyone in the diaspora, everyone at home, everyone who made this a success, made this a reality, a special and a very, very thank you one. Thank you all. Thank you to those who are viewing us at the moment. And as we often say, share the live so that everyone would see what's happening here. Again, uh, to our service providers, Sister Alice Media, DJ Jack, management, um, everyone else. Oh, for the food, BB, for the drinks, 
Hardwood Bar and everyone who made this a success. We want to say thank you. Thank you for coming and we're going to have a great time. Thank you. Okay. Oh no, I left out. Lester people, you know. You can't leave us out. No, we're, 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 the Mr. and the man. How can I do that? Mr. Bristol and Lady Samuel. How can I do that? Oh, I'm so disappointed. Thank you to you both for a great job. Thank you to our hardworking team, the cleaners, the beach cleaners, for making here ready. Thank you very much. Who did I leave out now? All right, thank you very much. Blessing. Oh, I marvel at the culture of this beautiful island. Yes, they fight so hard to save those traditions. It is amazing how throughout the years the culture has evolved. And today we see most kayaks are involved. From the building of a tomb to the gathering from a room. You hear the sweet songs of the drums and the songs that go along. And Nancy, oh, and Nancy, oh, sorry, Baba. And Nancy O Sari 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 Baba. Our ancestors are the ones who ride the waves and brave the storm. Yes, they came from far as captives Africa. They struggle and they toggle hard to keep this culture on. And it felt it did with gaps of noble hands. Sugar Adams and Enski, Popella and Prince Lawrence, see them McGilvery and Lucian, them names born to live on. And Nancy O, and Nancy O, sorry Baba, and Nancy O, sorry Baba, and Nancy O, sorry Baba, and Nancy O, and Nancy O, sorry Baba, and Nancy O, sorry Baba, and Nancy O, sorry Baba. It is a thrill to see the skills of the dancers as they perform when they dance to the beat of romantic song. The flair, the glare, the glamour and the moves that she portray is like an undivided interest all the way. With new dancers like Zerina, LV and Patricia, as soon as they enter in the ring, the whole crowd just start to sing. Romantic culture. Dawule, Dawule. Do you think you're romantic culture? I dance. Dawule, Dawule. Romantic culture. Dawule, Dawule. Romantic culture. Dawule, I dance. Do you think you're romantic I daule daule, I no matter daule, I daule daule, I no matter what you, I daule daule, I. I dancer. All right, DJ Jack will play a few songs and we're going to um, wet our tonsils and we get back the little drizzle. We have some things to put away, so we'll be back pretty shortly with the entertainment part of the thing. We thank you. Summertime, come on, in the Isle of Spice. Let's go, Spice Island, come on. Summertime, come on, to the Isle of Spice. Let's go. Buckle up, take that trip Go Grenada for the summertime Yes, man Pay a mass, drink some rum Smell some spice and free up your mind You know, see how we do A gem in the Caribbean so unique Tell you, fantastic Sceneries to sweep you off your feet Tell you, fantastic Friendliest people you'll ever meet Great food and calypso music Time of your life is surely guaranteed And we got ladies, sexy ladies, gorgeous ladies Yes, they all so fine Yes, man Fat boom boom, tight zoom zoom Good waistline, oh how they could whine See a summer body in a tight outfit Looking fantastic In the club stage show with the Cardi Beach Looking fantastic Spiciest women you'll ever meet There ain't no doubt about it 
And that's right, guys. So don't forget today we are here together to share a wonderful news, a wonderful moment, boy. In that video uh, today, the Grenada. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Let's get it right. The USA Today 2020 Readers' Choice Competition, boy. Paradise Beach has placed first, awarded the number one beach in the Caribbean. All right. The job job slick that give her the sting She feeling fantastic Made this the island of her dreams She love the ice cold and green Say she want a Grenadian pop hey, When it's summer time Come on so don't forget the, U the USA Today is a multi-platform news and information media company. All right, the USA Today and uh, USA Today dot com, which it combines seven million readers daily. Applications with more than the twenty-one million downloads on mobile devices. So you know, to be part of this competition as a small island and uh, coming for us as the best beach. It's a wonderful something. All right. And also, in the other categories, which uh, trialists they took part in, Belmont Estates, of course, man, in the winners of category for the best attractions, yeah, on the island. And also, Esther's Bar, as one of the best beach bars in the trial state of Grenada, Carry Company, but in the Caribbean, too, you know. See you though. And for the best resorts, Triple B Resorts, Grenada also, please. All right, so when you're visiting the Tri Island State, you gotta visit these places and a lot, lot more. Next time you're booking a ticket to the Caribbean, or you're somewhere in the Caribbean right now, you gotta visit Grenada, Carico, and Pity Morning, of course. Summertime, come on, in the Isle of Spice, let's go, Spice Island, come on, summertime, come on, to the Isle of Spice, let's go, ha. buckle up, take that trip, go Grenada for the summertime, yes man, be a mass, drink some rum, smell some spice, and free up your mind. Beautiful place in the Caribbean. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Also known as the Spice Island. Oh, oh, yeah, With major yeah. crops and the plantation. Oh, oh, yeah, like yeah. dashing tiny and sweet me yeah. So if you never been to this land, make one visit, you will understand. With all the spices and tourism, you know that Grenada is the one. If you need a place or a vacation, spend some time in the Spice Island. If you want to go out and have some fun, spend some time. If you need to get good education, spend some time in the Spice Island. You don't have to worry about party. The people there will make you happy. Anytime you go out the line, you don't have to worry about time. Yeah. Yes, beautiful place out in the Caribbean. A 
beautiful place in the Caribbean. Also known as the Spice Island. With major crops on the plantation. Like dashing tiny and sweet beyond. So if you've never been to this land, make one visit, you will understand. With all the spices and tourism, you know that Grenada is the one. If you need a place for a vacation, spend some time in the Spice Island. If you want to go out and have some fun, spend some time in the Spice Island. If you need to get good education, spend some time in the Spice Island. You don't have to worry about party, the people there will make you happy. Anytime you go out and line, you don't have to So many lovely beaches out there oh, oh, yeah, Where you can you. relax without no fear oh, oh, yeah, And the you. people they're very friendly oh, oh, They yeah, will do anything to make you happy So whenever you're ready Grenada is the place to be It is a land of paradise Where everything really nice, nice, nice If you need a place or a vacation Spend some time in the Spice Island If you want to go out and have some fun Spend some time if you need to get good education, spend some time in the Spice Island. You don't have to worry about party, the people they will make you happy. Anytime you go out and line, you don't have to worry about time. My life, hey, bring it up, land of my birth. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Nikoyan Roberts, the manager for nautical development and acting manager for marketing and sales at the Grenada Tourism Authority. There is nothing left to say except to again encourage all of the users of our beach and especially the people of Kariaku because this award brings home that you are the custodians of a very valuable sun, sea, and sand asset. And winning this award is not the end of the journey. It's actually the beginning of what we have to showcase to the world about this product, that it really needs to be maintained by all of the citizens of Kariaku and all of the visitors. And one of the speakers, our CEO said it before, the first thing is we have to ensure that it remains clean because when you look at it, the sand, the, the, the coral reef, the setting of the pristine maritime environment means that we should not litter. When we have our water and our drinks and our food, take our garbage with us when we're leaving so that the beach and the waters can remain clean. Another aspect of not littering is not affecting the safety of the swimmers who use this beach. So we're asking all of the boat owners, yes, you come in with your water taxis and you have your boats, but be very careful in terms of not just rushing into the shore, driving up on the shore. You know you have to look out for the bathers in the area. So in addition to not littering people of Kariaku, we know that you will take care of this beautiful asset by ensuring that safety is adhered to and that the boats and water taxis don't come into the beach that quickly. Now, all of the businesses that surround this beach pa form part of the safety system, the mechanism. So we're asking you to keep your eyes and your ears out. Don't use a big stick, but encourage users to be mindful and responsible 
for taking care of this lovely environment. We know that you focus on quality, cleanliness, freshness of your produce, and we just love to be able to take photos and share them on Instagram. Already, our teams in the USA, Canada, in Grenada, Mr. Bethel from Pity Martinique, they have been flooding the social media platforms, Instagram and Facebook, with lovely images. So keep the businesses. businesses. Last thing I will say before I say goodbye is that we all need to use the bathrooms. We need to wash our hands, our faces. So we look forward to us all taking care of the bathrooms. We thank the people who clean it. We take care of what is done in this area to continue to promote Paradise Beach Kariaku to the world as a shining example of environmental beauty and the commitment of all of the citizens to be wonderful environmental stewards. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful weekend. And in just one minute time, we'll have entertainment by the call to train us that prepared us also to come here and give you some lovely, lovely entertainment this afternoon, some cultural. Also, we have the Leicester Company of Dancers. Yeah, man. So that's the Leicester Company of Dancers. Famous for the call, drill dancing. And the culture train will give you some lovely string music. Alright, so in just one minute's time, we'll get that show on the road and get everybody a little entertained this afternoon. Those of you who's just joining in, you could have yourself a little drink at the bar. You know, shots while we got some uh, refreshments, some, you know, some eats there for you, alright? So also prepare for the Caracol Culture Train and the Leicester Company of Dancers. Gonna give you some cultural uh, explosions on the beach right now, yeah? And guys, we lost a car key on the sand, so if anybody um, on the wood is a key, some keys on the sand, you know, just please bring under the tent right here, alright? Thank you very much. And as the band members get themselves together no place to give you some lovely quadrille dancing together with a culture train, all right, as we get ready. All right. So it's the Caracol Culture Train to, together with Leicester Company of Dancers.
Thank you, Lister Company of Dancers. Pleasure, no. Pleasure having you. Thank you. Alright, this is the entertainment part of things for now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, so those of you viewing online, I want to thank you guys for coming to witness this uh, memorable moment. And of course, we are ending the live right now, but we're here on the beach. If you're out there and I feel like coming to join us, that's not a problem, of course.